Uh -huh. The wisest and richest man who ever lived has this proverb that I really love. That seest thou a man diligent in his work, this man is going to stand before kings and not ordinary men. I love Solomon so much. I love siphoning from these wise people because sometimes their wisdom, if it is tapped well, it can impact us. I am a product of being impacted by these wise people in various aspects of my life. Dear viewer, today I want to share on a few things that how we approach life, that all of us have a way we approach life and how we approach it depends or will now inform the results that we are going to get. There are four classes or there are four approaches to doing anything and these are the approaches that we are going to dig deep so that you know to which class do you belong. The first class of people are called drifters. To drift simply means to go by graffiti. And one character trait of drifters is they don't have anything they are really looking for. Theirs is just to move with the currents. They move with, sometimes they move with gravity. They go or they seek for the path of least resistance. Yeah, it is true you may cover some distance, but you can never drift to the top of the mountain. You can drift from the top of the mountain to the ground, but you can never drift to the top of the mountain. So you'll agree with me that for drifters, they hardly achieve anything meaningful in life because they are to look for anything easy. Naturally, we love easy things. If you don't become intentional, you can, you will end up just being in life as a drifter so that you're just moving with the current. Anytime you try anything and you find it's hard, you let it rest so that you're looking for something else that is easier. So the first class of people are called the drifters. Drifters are, they just move with the current. They don't look for anything hard. They don't have anything specific they are pursuing. Theirs is just, they are drifting. They are moving with the current. And most times, they hardly achieve anything. The second class is the pursuers. Now, pursuers are a bit different from the drifters. The difference is from the term pursue to pursue, pursuers, they are running after some things, only that they are not specific on the things they are running after. Anything that comes their way that is shiny, they'll abandon what was their original plan and they'll start pursuing. In fact, most times they lose the sight of an antelope for even a squirrel. Sometimes in their chase for an antelope, if a squirrel shows up, they may let the antelope go and they start pursuing the squirrel because for them, it is just they are pursuing. In fact, sometimes they even go against the currents. They can go upstream, but any time something else shows up, even if it is hard, they will easily change their course and start pursuing that particular thing. So for them, theirs in life is just to pursue. Theirs in life is just to, they're just running after. Not something specific, but at least they are running after something. So the second class are the pursuers. Pursuers is they run. Unfortunately, they don't have something specific they are targeting. In other words, they don't have any goal in life, but they are running after things. So sometimes they are working hard but they are working hard for almost everything. So they work hard for this. When it gets somewhere and they get bored, they may change the direction they head elsewhere. So this class of people are called pursuers. The next class are the achievers. Now the difference between the pursuers and the achievers 
is one. The achievers have goals in life. That means they have a target. It means they are aiming at something. And one good thing with the achievers is, for them, you see, once you have a goal, now the, you, you, you now have a target you're targeting to. And you see, like I earlier mentioned, you can never hit a target that you cannot see. So the reason as to pursuers never achieve or seldom achieve anything is because they are not even having anything they're targeting. Now, because they don't have anything they're targeting, they may not hit it. But for the achievers, they sometimes achieve their goals because they now have something they are going towards. They have something they are moving towards. They have something they are, they are following. That means once they decide that this is what my attention, they decide to go for it. And most times, or a good number of times, they achieve their goals because they have set a goal and they are running towards it. Towards it. So these are called the achievers. So achievers will attain the goals because they have the set goals. Unlike the pursuers that they just go, they just run for the sake of running, they may run after so many things, but at the end of the day, they may not achieve so many because at the end of it all, they don't have something specific. But for the achievers, they have a set goal. They have something they are going towards and as they go towards, sometimes they'll hit that particular goal. Are you an achiever? Now, the last class, maybe before I do a recap, the last class is the super achievers. The super achievers are a bit different from the achievers. And what distinguishes the super achievers from the achievers is the super achievers, they have goals just like the achievers. But now something additional is they have strategies in place on how to achieve these goals. They have goals, and to add on the goals, they also have the strategy. You see, most times, like the last video I did, that all of us have goals, but most of us don't achieve the goals. The reason as to why most of us don't achieve the goals is one, we don't have the strategies. We don't have the things we have set that this is what I will be doing on a day-to-day -day basis to see to it that I achieve my goal. So that is what distinguishes the achievers, I mean the super achievers from the achievers. The super achievers, they also have goals, but now they have a day-to-day -day plan that on day one, I'll move from point A to point B. On day two, I'll move now from point B to point C. On day three, I'll be doing these certain activities so that I get to my goal. By the way, and they are so disciplined. Most times, most of us, I don't know your definition of this word discipline, but I want to give you a definition that has really worked well for me. Discipline basically means the ability to give yourself commands and follow. That you can tell yourself that I want to do this thing and then you get committed to doing that particular things. Most of us don't have that discipline. Most of us don't have that commitment. So we set goals, we even set or put in place some strategies, but we lack the discipline. But one thing that separates the super achievers from the rest of the classes is they have the discipline and daily they are diligent. They are working on this particular goal in a focused way. And because they have strategies put in place, most times they achieve what they desire. Most times they achieve the goals in their life. So the Super Achiever is such a wonderful class that I would, I would challenge you as my audience to join this good class. And as you join this good class, I want to assure you most of your dreams will come true now let me do some recap we have talked of the four classes we have talked of the drifter we have talked of the pursuer we have talked of the achievers 
and you have talked of the super achievers. Now in our day-to-day -day life, for example, in a school setup, let's say we are talking of students. We have the drifter students. The drifter students don't have anything. They come to class, they see their neighbor studying chemistry, they may also start studying chemistry because they didn't even have a plan. One of them visited, okay, if a drifter went to the washroom on her way back as she's coming, she may meet uh, somebody else who is also on their way to the washroom. And as they converse, this person may convince this drifter, hey, why can't you take me back to the washroom? Because this drifter does not have any specific agenda, they may join them. Even in our day-to-day -day life, sometimes you are headed to the market and you find a friend coming back from that particular market. And then you start chatting and then you tell this friend, why can't we go back to the market so that such a friend, if that friend is a drifter, this friend will not even think twice. She or he will easily accompany you back to the market because they don't have something specific. For the pursuers, the pursuers are also following up things. Have you ever seen these people that are working so hard, but they are working so hard on so many things? They don't have something specific. Sometimes they, even, they can even start working on a garden. They work so hard. They only work as hard as something else has not got the attention. But once something shiny comes again, they may leave working on this particular garden and then they start something else. And then even as they start, they start that other thing else, they also work so hard. So theirs in life is just to pursue. They are running after things. But the problem is they never run with something until completion. That is now the difference with them. And then now the next class of the achievers. Most of us are told in school, set goals. And most of us set goals. Set targets, most of us set targets. But then few of us come to achieve the targets. Why? At the end of the day, it is not about the target. If you set the targets, Yes, you may work towards those targets, but if you don't come up with the strategies in place, then at the end of the day, you may discover that you have set goals. Yes, these goals are good, yes, but you have not achieved them. And then the last category now that I would love most of us to be achieved or most of us to join is this class of the super achievers. The super achievers, they have a target and then they have the strategies they have put in place. Once you have a target and then you have the strategies you have put in place, I want to assure you with mathematical exactness that you're going to achieve most of your goals because all the people that have used the strategy of the super achievers, they have achieved their goals. So I also want to challenge you, employ this strategy so that you at least can achieve. It has never been easy. If it were easier, everybody would do it but then the few that decide to pay the price the few that decide to make friendship with this pain eventually get to a level where they are admitted to that world class like i earlier mentioned that one separator between the high achievers and those who don't achieve they have a relentless commitment to daily growth. They are daily struggling to become better. So I would urge all of us to join this big class so that we become better together. Thank you dear viewers for today and I would like to urge all of us if you find this content worthwhile. I would love if you share it on your social media platforms. I would also love I really appreciate those that are giving feedback to me. Continually give the feedback. As you give the feedback, some of you even suggest the topics that you'd wish us to cover. I would gladly wish that we look at even the topic that would interest you. I have also had an opportunity to read a few books, the Think and Grow Rich, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari, the psychology of money. These are books I've had an opportunity to interact with, among others. You can also even ask in the comment section if there is any specific book you would wish us to look at. I would gladly do that. For today, thank you so much for those who have subscribed. 
Thank you so much even as you plan to subscribe.